I'm Daryl Murray, founder of Welcome Home Ministries. In 1992, we began our story. I'd like to share a few chapters with you. It's a different setting. Um, I had been in uh, quote unquote halfway houses before where you pretty much just go and you know you, you show up, you go to work, you come home, uh, you go to your meetings and whatnot. But what Welcome Home has given me is more of a, a transitional living opportunity. Uh, not only to transition back into, into life and into the workplace, but and also an opportunity to find God and, and, and grow in my faith. For our guys, uh, some of them come from a very low place. Uh, place behind us here is our, our graduate house and we've got a guy in there, George, who uh, basically he'll say his testimony is I was a town drunk uh, and uh, he has a, he doesn't say he has a rap sheet, he has a, a rap book. I mean it's, it's a long, long process. But it's a guy who's lived on the streets, eaten out of trash cans, uh, slept under bridges, uh, that whole kind of scenario that you would typically think of a homeless guy, I mean that was George. and. Uh, kind of through this process of recovery and, and turn his life over to God, that he's, he's really made a transformation. Miserable. I was detoxing from alcohol. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen with my life. I really wasn't too happy with the way I was living, but I didn't want to kill myself either. And I just knew that I wanted to, to be in a Christian place, a Christian home, where I could get back on my feet and start my life over again and that's what Welcome Home has done for me. It's helped me help me do that and it's just helped my spiritual life grow in leaps and bounds. And I started drinking at the age of 12 and I started dr doing drugs at the age of 13. Um, by the age of 18 um, I, uh, I was smoking marijuana, LSD, doing mushrooms, drinking, uh, about the age of 21, I was full-blown alcoholic. Uh, I was constantly in and out of jails, sleeping on the streets, eating out of dumpsters, garbage cans, robbing people, uh, lying and stealing. All I cared about was me. That's all I wanted to do was drink and drug. Didn't care about anything or anybody. And the way that I am today, is I walk with God, I walk with Christ, and I help other peoples in addiction. Let's rock! <laughs> This is just like our Christian walk. This is a process. It takes a while to, to grow and to mature. And so we've had guys who've gone on and who've worked with us and have gone on and started their own companies and got their own place. We've had guys gone all the way from homelessness to transitional housing to rental into home ownership. So that's part of the process that uh, and just rebuilding a person's life. But the biggest part is uh, the, the spiritual development, the character development that happens through this process and largely comes out of relationships, building relationships with the, the men, uh, encouraging them. And that's where, again, the church family comes in, becomes a uh, part of that uh, extended family, becomes a new family, becomes uh, just really salt and light, becomes healthy people that uh, these men can talk to and, and watch and, and, and uh, they need models to, to help them with that, through that.